and Arjuna Awardee. This towering centre-back was selected as AIFF's Men's Footballer of the Year in 2020-21. The men's national coach Igor Stimac has called him one of the best defenders in the continent. In 2021, he became the first Indian footballer to play in the top league of Croatia. The 28-year-old has since returned to ATK Mohan Bagan for a second stint. Hello and welcome to another episode of Forbes India from the field. Our guest today is Sandesh Jhingan, the vice captain of the Indian football team. When I was growing up, usually kids of my age, we all had that dream to play in Europe, you know, to play for the big clubs like Man United and all. But for me personally, it was just the national team. You know, I was a massive fan, was just crazy to wear the holy blue jersey and, you know, stand there, sing the national anthem you know, and represent 1.3 billion people. So that was my dream and my passion and which made me do all those crazy workouts either have to wake up at 4 a.m. to do a workout. So that was my, my, my fuel to keep going. Because I'm not an academy product. I'm not someone, you know, who's from a proper grooming through academies. And I'm more of a street footballer, you know. So we don't have that solid base. So I did my basic things, you know, with my friends, with my senior, just kept training. And, you know, when you're 17, 18, you've left school, you know, and you're struggling from injuries. So you need to get a job, you know, you need to, you know, I needed a club, whatever it takes. So I did training for my on my own for four or five months, got myself fit enough. And then I took a train to, to uh, Calcutta. Uh, it was a very hopeful one. So rang few people. So there were like 250 players there of my age, you know, who came for the trials and I didn't even get a proper shot to to show what I'm both of. So I got ejected, you know, that was okay. And you know, I was not heartbroken then. So whomever I could meet there, you know, random people, because there are a lot of Punjabis, a lot of North Indians already there. Uh, so, you know, just calling random seniors and saying like, hey, just arrange me a trial here, taking a train to Havra and going there, taking a bus and getting to here. Oh, maybe some trials are happening there. Just go randomly and request for trials. And <clears throat> everyone didn't show much interest in me. And it came to a level that I almost went to second division of Calcutta League in a club. You know, they asked me to stay there for some time. I was doing training with them. Then one day, they were unhappy about the food I ate. <laughs> Next morning, the manager comes, say, you ate so much. Boom, they pack your bags and go. So that was it, you know, and, uh, but I never, and then the journey to come back home, you know, uh, not having money for the train, you know, fighting with the bus conductor from Ambala to Chandigarh, a great guy, I always remember, he still let me go for less money. Uh, and finally, I reached home after one and a half, two months of uh, whatever it was, but it never, it never broke me. Of course, it made me sad. You know, when you keep hearing no, no, and from the national team, you're out, you left your school, you know, you want to help the family, things are not going in your way, but I could have given up. But it was just like sink or swim. There was no other option for me. You know, I had to do it, you know, regardless how many rejections come my way, you know. I've learned this in my life that whenever something happens, there's always, always, always something behind that experience. What was your, like a turning point, the best period of my life, you know, which made Sandy to become Sandesh Jingen. I would call, call that those three years, which from outside you would say that that was the worst period of your life, basically. That's where I felt I went so down in the dark that when I came out of it, I was reborn. So those three years of I don't like to call it as a failure or rejections or injuries or this and that. I like to call it three years of extreme learning process. I went for trials in United Sikkim. They were in second division of Pilek. I missed the Paiching Puriya, who was my uh, wallpaper on my phones for so many years, you know. 
So, and then they invited me for trials and I gave trials for two and a half months because we had three different coaches, you know. First, I gave a trial, he got sacked. And he told me he's going to sign me, but he got sacked. Then we had another Portuguese coach. He said, okay, I'm going to sign you. Then he got sacked after one tournament. Philip de Ryder came, uh, this uh, Belgian coach. And for him also, I gave trials for one month. And then, finally, I got the contract. And then I never looked back. Yes, this never give up thing is very important, you know, for any any frame of life, you know, be it sports, business, school, parent, being a husband. Because give up on giving up is always the easiest option, be it anything. You know, you just gotta, so for me, just to believe in that soul dream, so important, you know, and that keeps you going and if you're honest with yourself, if you're honest with the work you put in, so yes, of course, the attitude to never give up, but then you need to be honest as well. The two most important qualities, which I believe is, after you do achieve it, is to stay humble, you know, not have a big nose, don't look others down, you know. So this is one trait, if you really think you want to be a champion in your feed, you can't have this. You, know, you need to stay humble no matter what, whether you achieve it, or not and the final one i would say it's something to give back if i cannot help another sunday jingan who is 10 years old eight years old who's dreaming to play for the country and if i can't give something back to the sport to the people to the society because who i am today is just not because of me yes a certain part is my hard work and everything but the society in which i grew up the kids with whom i played when i was small all, everyone contributes in a person to become the person. Everyone has their individual goals and you must pursue them. But then collectively, the goal is to lift the trophy. The goal is to play this brand of football. The goal is to have this attitude when we are 3-0 down and the crowd, 70,000 people are booing you, throwing stuff at you. The goal is when you're leading 5-0, we still got to keep our, you know, that class. You know, not going to act like street football. So we set those goals from the start. Remember that for now, for the next seven, eight months, we're going to be together. We are family. So this feeling of creating that compassion is love for each other as real family members is something i always emphasize on because i don't see my parents for eight nine months i don't see my brothers for so long i don't see them so for me in this eight nine months of pure adrenaline rush pure aggression calm all these emotions mixed these are the 25 30 boys these men and the coaching staff they are the family never lose sight of that dream you know whatever happens happens for a reason you know you can have thousand setbacks but if you want something so deeply so strongly so madly then nothing else seems big to you you know you're just so much into that dream um, it has helped me, you know, that, that having that mindset, you know, through football, which I learned, you know, if you want to become an Ash, if you want to play for your country, that's it and everything is just gone. You just just focus. So, so that's one thing, you know, when I wanted to play for my country, when I wanted to become a professional footballer, whatever happened, you know, it was a great learning process. And sports always, this also taught me that never take things too much to your heart also. Because we have these emotions every day. You know? Now, for example, now I have to go for my training in one hour. I might have a very bad session. Someone might beat me three, four times, you know, and you feel gutted, feel, uh, feel aggressive, you feel very angry. The next day you have a good session and the whole feeling is gone. 
So the cycle just keeps going. So this thing also, I'm really happy I learned the football. Never to take things so much to your heart. You know, like, it happens, happens, you know. Tomorrow's a new day.